climbing isn't just a physical escape or a mental escape. It's actually become my physio. It's the thing that keeps my joints healthy and happy, but it's also the place I can escape from the world and feel completely normal. I was born missing my right arm below the elbow, and my left arm was heavily impacted after counter treatment a few years ago. Growing up, there was always a thought from other people that I couldn't do the same thing as everybody else. But once I've decided I want to do something, I will do it, regardless of what other people might think. ehlers danlos Syndrome, which is one of the conditions I have, means that my joints dislocate spontaneously because the connective tissue in my body is defective. In the past few years, I've been in and out of treatment, hospital visits 10 times a month. I've got to be extremely conscious of my diet and manage my pain and fatigue levels. When I first tried indoor climbing, I really didn't see it as something that might change my life. But the more time I spent on the wall, the more I got to know my body. When I moved to London, I had no social circle, no friends. So I joined a climbing group, and that's how I met Anna and Gemma. Honestly, I couldn't imagine my life without them. I really love it. It's just uh, what I love, you know, what I love. So I think One I'm of the things that terrifies me about climbing is going outdoors. Is the day going to be so bad that I won't be able to get out? Is it going to be one of those days where actually I start off really, really well, and an hour later I'm completely useless? I have no idea how that's going to work. With their support, this might just be possible. This trip, it's all about going into the unknown and facing that fear. Anna's amazing. She knows my needs and understands them. So when I can push, she pushes me. And when I need to hold back, she holds me back. Gemma's pretty cool. She's the calm one in the storm. And whenever I've had a setback, either an injury or mental health, she's been the one that says, right, that sucks. What are you going to do about it? I'm not concerned about what the rock is going to be like, because the rock is going to be what it's going to be. I have no power over the rock. Instead, it's how my conditions will play out in an environment where I have much less control. I don't know how I'm going to have to pay for it, physically or emotionally. I just want to learn as much as possible. If I can do this, who knows what else I can do? When I'm on the wall, the world goes away. It's the wall and me, and that's it. And the amazing thing about it is the wall doesn't judge me for who I am. It's just me being there, being myself.